Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make text animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first of all, let's create a new solid layer for background. And add name background, click OK. Go to FS Presets, search FA Gradient Ramp. Select gradient ramp, use for solid layer. And go to start color, let's use color like this. And click OK. Go to end color, let's open. Let's select eyedropper, select this color and open inside. And move to the left, like this, click OK. And go to ramp shape, change radial ramp. And click swap colors. And move to down like this. Let's go to start color, chain like this, click OK and the ramp scatter 100%. So let's lock layer and go to text and right here after effects, classification tool and color use white and let's change font size and let's enable title action save for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon. Classification tool and go to window, enable align and let's open align, click this and this icon. So in this time let's create new null object, right mouse, new and null object. And move to anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon, classification tool and let's move to like this. So select this text, let's link to null object, select null, press R, chain rotation 90. In this time, let's move to center. So, let's go to window, open animation comes to 3. If you haven't animation comes to 3, I will add the link on the description below. Select text layer, go to starter presets, and transitions text layer, animate characters, and select overshot scale, click in, and close window, and close settings, let's see. Select Null Object, press S, Open Scale, and change Scale 0, create Scale Keyframe and go to here, 1 second, change 100, and make it Keyframes easy, let's see. Ok, select Keyframes, go to Graph Editor, select this graph, and make it Smooth Animation. Let's see again. Nice, back to Keyframe, select this Mark for Text, and move to right for Slowly Text Animation. Ok, so in this time select Null Object, let's hold Shift press P and hold Shift press R and let's create new position, new rotation keyframes and go to Fave keyframes and change rotation like this and move to the left. Let's move up a little bit, let's see. Ok, select keyframes, make it easy. First, select two position two frame, go to graph editor and make smooth graphs. Let's select work area, preview animation. Okay, select rotation and select first graph, make again smooth graphs. Okay, so back to two frames and select After Effects text, Ctrl D for duplicate and let's move to down. Press R and chain rotation like this. Ok, and let's write here Blender. Classification tool and change font size and go to color. Let's use yellow color. Click OK and let's put here. So, in this time, select this Blender text, move to right and let's see timing. Nice. And let's select this text, move to left a little bit. Okay, that's good. And go to less rotation keyframe, change minus 60. And go to 10 keyframe, change minus 40. Again, 10 keyframes. And for go to 10 keyframes, you can use shortcut, hold shift, press page down in keyboard. And change this minus 50. Again, 10 keyframe, change minus 44. Let's see. 
Okay, we can go to 10 keyframes again. Change minus 48. Okay, that's good. Select these rotation keyframes. Hold Alt, move to the left. And select keyframes again, move to the left like this. Okay, so in this time, go to middle and select this null object and let's add new position keyframe here. Let's move it down. Let's see. Okay, pretty good. In this time, select this After Effects text, Ctrl D, move it up and move it down. Press R, chain rotation. Okay, let's write here Cinema 4D. Classification tool and chain rotation like this. In this time, select this null object. Let's add new keyframes and let's create new passing keyframe and go to here, change rotation like this and move to right, move to down like this. Okay, let's select work area and select position keyframes. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth graph like this. Let's see. Back to two frames and go to middle and move to down for add bounce animation. And select rotation two frames, go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. Select this first two frame, make like this and this move to the left. Back to two frames and in this time select this cinema for the text, press R and change rotation like this and we'll change a little bit to right and move to here okay and let's move to right this number for the text let's see timing okay we can move to right a little bit And let's try to change font size. Okay, that's good. And select this cinema for the text, Ctrl D and move to right. Let's double click and edit here text VFX. Click session tool and move to left. So select null, press U for C active keyframes and again let's add bounce animation. Go to less rotation keyframe and change this 110. Again 10 keyframe, change 90. Let's see. Okay, we can try change this 80. And 10 keyframe, change 95. Again 10 keyframe, change 89. And less keyframe, change. 9 to 2 and let's see okay select rotation two frames move to left and select this middle position two frame and let's move it up okay and let's go to pen tool hold this icon select convert vertex tool and let's make smooth line let's see and select middle two frame, move to down a little bit. And in this time, select the cinema for the text, move to the left, and VFX, move to right. So guys, in this time, let's add some effects for dynamic animation. Go to pen tool, hold the icon, select pen tool, and go to first second here. And let's add one line with pen tool. Clicization tool and for turn off inside color, click fill and select none here. And let's go to add and trim path. Go to first second, open trim path one here, change end zero, create end keyframe and go to 10 keyframe, change 100 and go to middle, create start keyframe, go to here, change 100 and make it keyframes easy. Go to graph editor zoom to graph and select these last few frames move to left and first few frames move to right let's see okay back to two frames and select last two two frames move to right for more slow animation 
and start shift frame, move to right or move to left. Okay, so change stroke width and for smooth these parts, let's open stroke one and change pet cup to run cup. Okay, so let's in this time select shape layer, press U and select last few frames, move to right and go to last few frame, edit and split layer or control shift D, delete and select shape layers, move to right, let's see timing. Okay, we can use timing like this and in this time let's say shape layer link to null object and move to left in this time let's say shape layer control d for duplicate move right let's press r chain rotation and put here for blender and go to stroke change color to yellow click ok And let's move to left here and here select shape layer control D for duplicate move to right and let's use for this text cinema 4d text and move to down chain rotation okay and go to color use white so guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.